Hi, I'm Mark Stevens. The website is markstevens.net. Host a radio show called the No State Project. We're live every Saturday from 4 to 7 Eastern Standard Time on LRN.FM. That's the Liberty Radio Network. And I uh, want to do a quick video. Again, yeah, we're going to be at Libertopia. That's going to be awesome. So if you were watching this video before, then definitely check it out in San Diego. But, uh, yeah, I love this. Statism. Ideas so good they have to be mandatory. Yes, such the, the services that these people call government are so wonderful. They just can't help threatening and carrying out those threats of putting us in jail if we don't pay them. So that's the hallmark of a good group of individual men and women and the services that they want to provide to the market, to us, the people, is that they have to force you to do it. So uh, anyway, I want this is going to go under our success stories. Of course, I don't want to mislead anybody into thinking that you can win in traffic court or in court. You're always the loser. Uh, doesn't mean tickets don't get thrown out, but the moment that they set their sights on you, you've already lost. All you can do is minimize the damage that they are intending on doing to you, but damage you, they will. That is the whole goal of statism. Uh, but what we've got here, let's see, we'll punch these up, and I'm getting a little better on the Photoshop jobs over here, but it kind of, I don't know, I have to learn what kind of files these are that people send me. But this is a big thank you. This happened in Maine, and uh, Scott sent this to me. I thought this was pretty cool. Where uh, in uh, Rumford, I guess Maine, the, uh, the state of Maine, which of course is a fiction, does you know it's just a, a pseudonym. These are just words on a piece of paper. There is no actual uh, physical state of Maine. It's just a DBA for men and women who like. Uh, shown here, men and women who have to force others to pay them. So um, what we've got here, and again, thank you to Scott and everybody else who sent me these, because we're going to go through a few of these. Uh, pursuant to, uh, this is a dismissal. Oh, I should have highlighted that, but I, uh, it's heavy. You know, well, anyway, uh, pursuant to rule, you can't expect too much of the Photoshopping from me at this particular point. The fact that on this file... You can see I had to use – I actually had to use layers to, to be able to do this, and uh, so I'm figuring out as I go. But uh, pursuant to Rule 48A, the main rules of criminal procedure, the district attorney for prosecutorial district 3 hereby dismisses the complaint because the witness was unavailable. The prosecutor was pretty adamant that if Scott took this to trial, he would lose. He would, you know, he, he, he just figured this was a hanging judge who was just going to deny everything. And, and the prosecutor, for what it's worth, um, didn't have a shred of evidence to actually prove that there was any jurisdiction. And uh, so even though he was, he was pretty certain he was going to win this, uh, you know, and uh, bring Scott to the slaughter, uh, he withdrew on the lame excuse that, oh, oh, yeah, his witness is unavailable. Yeah, that's right. You have a slam dunk. And uh, you may, and so you do nothing to have your, uh, your, 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 your prize witness there, your star witness. So anyway, this is his signature. I can't even begin to make that out. Looks like a John, possibly a J. I don't, I don't know. But anyway, it's signed by the district attorney who brought the this bogus complaint, uh, which is great. And so, uh, big congratulations. Uh, to Scott for standing up to these corporate psychopaths and not just giving in and crying and uh, going into the fetal position as you will. Oh my gosh, whatever I got to do to avoid jail, leave me alone. Uh, not an easy thing to go after, you know, to stand up for yourself uh, with these people, especially when you got a prosecutor who's doing a pretty good job of bluffing that you're going to get slaughtered in, in court because, you know, hey, he works with the judge. You and I don't. So uh, let's move on to our next one. Got a whole East Coast thing going on with these uh, tickets getting thrown out, which is kind of rare. Usually they just tell you to go out, go F yourself and bring it up on appeal, jackass. This is from Mineola. This is the Mineola Justice Court. My, uh, my old uh, stomping grounds there. I used to live on Long Island. Uh, and uh, Camille sent this to us. Uh, dismissed. This again, traffic, and I know for the critics out there, I'm not implying here that this is a real court, that the Mineola Justice, it's not any more real than any of the other courts. It's just the group of men and women providing a service at the barrel of a gun, pay us or we will shoot you. Uh, so, no, it's not 
That has no legitimacy whatsoever. Uh, but uh, he filed a motion to dismiss, as did Scott in Maine, and uh, it was dismissed. So a big, uh, big out of boy for Camille standing up to the corporate psychopaths in Mineola, Long Island. Again, if they had evidence proven the Constitution and laws applied to you and I just because we were physically in Mineola, hey, they would provide it. In fact, they would probably make it a, a permanent part of their tickets so the cop wouldn't have to be under any kind of undue burden of having to actually prove that every single time. Uh, so, hey, congratulations, of course, to Camille for sending us that. I appreciate that. Again, that was the Mineola Justice Court. And last, I know this is not very easy to read. I, In fact, I didn't, and, and I know this is a pretty cool Photoshop job. I did not do that. So um, you got to excuse that. But, uh, you know, I, I don't, I'm going to have to plead ignorance here. Uh, he wiped out too much of the name which really sucks. So uh, I, 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 don't, I don't know. I, I don't know, but it was just a traffic ticket in New Jersey, and uh, they stood up to them, and there you see, dismissed. Dismissed. And they had uh, it signed by the judge, which, of course, we can't make that out. Not that that's really important, but... Um, a big congratulations to them for standing up to them, especially in New Jersey. Oy vey. Uh, that's one of the worst. They're all bad. They're all psychopaths. But Jersey is is one of the, you know, if you've got to rate them, Jersey is one of the, the, the worst ones. So uh, big congratulations to them. And everybody who did take the time to send me the documentation, I really appreciate that. We'll have that here under the success stories. And if, if you're, you know, if, if you don't think that this proves anything, okay, great. It, uh, it may not. It may not. Uh, we don't know what exactly went behind, goes on behind the scenes, uh, but uh, we do have a nice pattern going on. An awful lot of these tickets do get thrown out, which is nice. Uh, but if somebody wants to say, well, it's just traffic, it doesn't mean anything, oh, that's fine with me. I don't really, don't really care. Uh, but as long as people keep getting them tossed out, that's all that is important. Uh, now, again, if they had evidence, or if you have evidence, if you think you have evidence proving the constitutional laws apply to me or anyone else because we're physically in Arizona or Maine or uh, uh, Hamilton, you know, British Columbia somewhere, we are live here at the No State Project every Saturday from 4 to 7 Eastern Standard Time on the Liberty Radio Network. I'd be more than happy to uh, hash out and listen, well, listen to whatever facts you believe you have to prove that uh, written instruments that nobody ever bothered to sign uh, actually apply to people who just happen to be in a certain physical location. Uh, again, my name is Mark Stevens. Website, of course, markstevens.net.